Hello and welcome to um, today's edition of Cracking the Cryptic. Um, well, we're going to go through um, a Wednesday's puzzle. Um, I found this very hard, I have to say. I'm, I'm pretty sure um, other people will have done too. I mean, looking at the, the times on the website, um, the times that I think are real times, about the fastest is about eight and a half minutes. Um, so, um, my time's certainly not good compared to that, but it's probably only about twelfth at the moment of you know the real times of people who've actually tried to solve the puzzle. Um, one of the tips I would give you for when you're solving a puzzle like this is to uh, try and identify the nature of the animal you're dealing with quite quickly and adjust your expectations accordingly. Um, it's very easy if you're used to solving a puzzle in you know 10 12 minutes and you and you're just not getting anywhere just remember everyone else probably isn't getting anywhere either um, and try and be patient and don't force it because one of the hardest things is to especially when you've got a puzzle with this much intricacy in the wordplay is you're sort of skim reading clues trying to do what you can do in some other puzzles and you know just pick up a little bit of the wordplay, you know, latch onto a theme in the clue, write the answer in, move to the next. You just can't do this with this puzzle. This puzzle takes, you know, er almost every clue requires, um, you know, a lot of careful consideration. Um, and there is, I think, one of the best clues I've seen this year in this puzzle. So we'll start with that just because it's just a, a a beautiful, beautiful clue. So 16 across. The central line in East London has 11 stops. Well, I've no idea whether the central line in East London does indeed have 11 stops, but uh, you, you couldn't complain about the surface reading of that clue. It is, it is just so perfect and elegant. And yet, um, you know, there is wordplay there. There is a definition there. So you can see the answer in the grid is axis. And so that's the central line. And then uh, what the setter has so brilliantly done is they said in East London has, so a sort of a Cockney reference to dropping the H of the, of the word has to give you as. And then 11 stops is saying take the Roman numeral XI, which is 11, and place it inside the as so that the 11 is stopping it's uh, it's filling the the as um, so I am just hats off hats off for that that is really exceptional um, cueing, cluing um, and not at all easy <laughs> um, another clue I, I thought was very uh, very difficult to get my head round anyway was 21 across um, where the answer is where it's at clue was in place of repartee was sitting wrapping present okay so again I'm not quite sure what a place of repartee is but I can sort of imagine what it what it might be um, and somebody sitting wrapping their present there um, well this one you had to spot that the definition was just the in place of so in place of means where it's at and then you've got repartee, which is wit, um, was sitting, sat, all around, i.e. wrapping, here, the present. Um, so you know, that's, what, that's how that one broke down. Very hard again. Um, the only way I sort of got into it was by guessing that the answer might contain here, for present. And then tr just trying to come up with something that might fit with the rest of it. Um, now, we should talk too about 15 down, which I loved, but I know there will be a lot of people who didn't. Um, the, this is one of those clues that you can almost stare at till kingdom come, and if you just don't get the idea, you'll never get it. Um, so, you know, I think when I came to it, I first of all, I, had, uh, I didn't have any letters in the, in, uh, the first word, but I had the the H, the M, and the S in the second word. So I was thinking of the Thames, uh, something Thomas, um, you know, chimes, etc. Um, and 
I was thinking Slough of Despond, how or what on earth is going on here? Uh, eventually, once I got Key Largo, I think I thought the first word could be I. Even then, I still didn't think of I rhymes. So these are words that look like they should rhyme um, from the spelling, but they don't actually rhyme. Um, so, you know, come home through Slough. Um, O-U-G-H, I think, is very, uh, very familiar to uh, linguists as, as, as one of those uh, parts of a word that can be pronounced in the most number of different ways. Um, so, yeah, perhaps I should have cottoned onto the O-U-G-H idea a bit more quickly. Um, but, yeah, I thought it was... Um, well, it was a great clue. To come up with a series of I rhymes that make a sentence like that um, is is really nice. Um, the other one that people might have found a bit strange because it's a sort of a cryptic definition is 12 across, where we've got shortage of decent cells with migrants slowly escaping. Um, so, again, a beautiful surface. Um, sort of you know, conjuring up images of... Um, uh, migrants in prison, um, and but in fact, what we're what what the setter's doing here is just referring to you know scientists going overseas. Um, so the decent cells are the brain cells, um, and the migrants slowly escaping is a reference to uh, them emigrating to go to be doctors in America, etc. Um, so brain drain was uh, was that one and then uh, Augsburg took me forever even though I sus suspected that back was one of the words in one across because I haven't solved this by the point I I was looking at Augsburg so I mean it's not it's not unfair it's just hard if you're if you're not really familiar with it as the name of the German town you've got the August AUG followed by a reversal of grubs um, for fair um, yeah very clever. Um, what else have we got here? Six down I liked. Maybe doing better than warring faction of German yes men. So this is the ja wing. Uh, ja being German word for yes. Um, and if you're doing better than warring, so it's a reference to the old George or rather than war, war expression. Ah, yes. And 20 down. I think this was my last one in. And I, I spent a while on this, firstly because I wasn't sure um, whether tiptoe could somehow be two words. Um, secondly, because although I obviously could see big toe as a possibility, I could not understand at all how this could be the answer. Um, eventually, it, I twigged that it's actually a reference to... Um, the nursery rhyme um, that I'm sure we're all familiar with about this little piggy goes to market, this little piggy goes home, this little piggy has roast beef and this little piggy has none, um, which my daughter loves. Um, so maybe I should have um, tweaked this a bit more, a little bit faster. Um, so one going to market on foot um, is uh, the, the piggies here are toes and uh, yeah, very clever and uh, far too clever for me, it turned out. Um, 13 down, it's just, uh, you know, this is, uh, uh, yeah, this is another genius clue. Trailer in the Welsh county possessed by one travelling light. Um, you know, th I think this setter has a real talent for producing surfaces of clues that read very well and are totally misleading about what you actually need to do to sort of uncover and decipher the wordplay and the definition. So I was convinced for a long time that the the definition here was travelling light. And I was sort of thinking, run is there a running lamp? Is there a um well no it's just light here. So what what's going on is you've got ad the trailer as in an advertisement in it's just plain, so I-N. Welsh County, Glam for Glamorgan. Um, possessed by, so all of that goes inside 
one traveling, one traveling as a rep, um, which is something you see from time to time, with the whole thing therefore giving you reading lamp, which is um, uh, which is a light. So, yeah, that's how that one works. Is there anything else we should discuss as being particularly either unusual or um, or difficult to understand? I don't think so. I think I think hopefully the rest of it. I mean, one across. I will talk briefly about. I'm not sh totally sure. I quite understand how the wordplay is working. I mean, uh, I think the definition is just defender rather than this being an and lit. Um, I think returned to is intended to, or returned is meant to be left. I think, but I may be wrong. And then the usual position of a defender is at the back. So I think I think that's how it works. Um, but there may be a better construction of, of how you break that down. Um, and to be honest, I needed to uh, I needed to get kangaroo justice, which was a a tricky anagram um, before I was certain what the second word there was. Uh, I mean, it looks like it should be left back, but it's um, this, this puzzle is is too clever to assume anything. You 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 really have to break everything down and make sure. Um, otherwise, I think you, you could come a cropper. Um, so, very interesting, very difficult puzzle. Um, I'd be interested to hear any comments back on it. And you know, if you found it easy, fair play to you. I'll be interested to see actually how Mark finds this one. Um, I think uh, it'll probably be just under ten minutes. I think, but I'll be I'll be surprised if he's sort of five or six minutes. Um, anyway, we'll see you again tomorrow for another edition. And um, yeah, happy solving.